Hello everybody and welcome to Hattiful Boyfriend. Something I never really thought I'd say. But I'm Mario Master DT and I will be your guide in this pigeon dating simulator. So uh my friend Whopper Destroyer, or first to fail, got me this because it was on my wish list. Uh though I don't remember putting it on my wish list. Probably thought it was a joke to myself. So here we are. So this is this is a pigeon dating simulator. Because you know, everyone knows we needed one of those. Alright, so Saint Pi Saint Pidgeo Nations Institute. Welcome to Saint Pidgeo Nations. Please enter your name. Uh Hyoko. Let's let's be Hmm. I didn't really give any thought to this. Uh let, let's let's call ourselves I'm looking at the background and I see diamonds, so let's let's call ourselves Crystal. That's a that's a good name. Enter your last name, Tosaka. Yeah, that's alright. It's Crystal Tosaka, okay. I mean it's better than being called Hitler, I guess, but Hattiful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Um yeah, let's do that. Configuration saved. Excellent. Alright, so I guess we're starting our journey then. Also, this is the first video I'm making with my new microphone. Very fitting. St. Pidgeo Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's... No. The world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pidgeo Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of di a, diverse, bleh, a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. Alright, so this is a my gym partner is a monkey kind of thing, I guess. It's a long story. <laughs> not every day I see you rushing around like this. <laughs> Ryuta! How do you tell the birds apart? Usually, you've been ready for your for an hour by now, Crystal. Overslept? D oh, wow. <laughs> okay. This rock dove is named K Kawara Ryuta. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He could be a little mischievous, but he's a responsible. He's responsible in kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make breakfast. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I don't know how that would work out, considering you don't have thumbs, or a brain that actually would work in that situation. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryuta. I'm probably gonna butcher every single pronunciation. Jeepers! No good being late on the first day. And so Ryuta pulled me along into the school. How does a bird pull a? human female anywhere. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Well, transferring can be hard, especially to a school where you don't fit in. You're the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. First term. I don't know how long I'm going to play this, but uh, I'm going to give it a, give it a good amount of time. I think we're in 2-3. Ryuta and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. Strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. <laughs> I hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. <laughs> it's Kazuaki. Good morning, every birdie. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. Very good with the physics for a bird. And also some other things. What do you... Oh, a narcoleptic bird. Okay. Sir, wake up, it's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. That's not how I imagined him looking at all. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously s sophoric math professor. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show how great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. 
Isn't it a little warm in here? Well, yeah, there's no excuse to fall asleep in front of your students. I know that's a, you know, it's kind of a trope in these kind of things, but... Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragane. Whoa. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do you think I'm here because I wish to be? Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. This is the strangest thing I've ever played. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. You can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dysenters. Oh. Okay, then. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shuragane? Shuragane Label Sakuya. The most magnificent bird of all. It seems that this fantail is Shiragane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. I see they're doing the My Little Pony thing. Calling everyone birdie instead of everybody. That's not gonna get annoying. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I don't know if I want to be friends with this guy. He seems like kind of a... Seems kind of a up in the clouds... You know. For a bird, even. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. I'm looking forward to so many bird puns. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. We're going to meet the librarian. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. <laughs> what are you? Or not, a morning dove stands in the dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did, did you want something from me? <laughs> I've been spotted! He looked away. Not, not really. Pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are, are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to this book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Tosaka Crystal, a sophomore. What about you? Y y you're... Nageki. Fu Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. You look like a girl, sir. Huh. Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Poor guy. It's probably because he, uh... Probably everyone thinks he's a girl. Leave me alone. I need to brood. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Yeah, half the birds we've met just aren't very fun to be around. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Who's that other... That guy's big. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of things does that say to your own brother, after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. <laughs> the drama just keeps rolling. Hey, wait a... Guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Suzuki Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakayuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Well, they they both hatched from the same parents, I'm assuming. That's probably what it was. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? You a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen on any... Uh, exclamation part. Exclamation part. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. This game. This fan-tailed pigeon is Suzuki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous. Or infamous. Throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. You're... 
crystal, right? How did how did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class. That's all. Totally don't have a crush on him. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. So we have... I don't know, is that bird a, is that a French bird, I guess? He really is a noble bird. Never heard anything like that about you, though. Probably a twisty. I... I don't know why I'm doing this. This is so... This is borderline uninteresting so far. <laughs> That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where is Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. So, so far, the game has consisted of me hitting space. Excuse me. No birdies here. There's no... <laughs> There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter gather instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryuta? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around in an empty room. Now that I think about it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Is Ryuta sick? Well, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> I'm not going to read any of that. What do they even do? Care to find out? Uh oh, we got a bad guy. Oh, okay, I thought it was like a bad boy who was gonna start smuggling drugs through the bird office. Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? This is. I'm uncomfortable. No, thank you. What is that music? Are you serious? <laughs> I hope that's not copyright. No, thank you. Oh dear. I I don't know how I feel about this person. This partridge is Iwani Iwamine I, Iwama Mine Chu, the school doctor. He's really creepy. He's rather creepy in person, and he has a bad reputation among the student body. No kidding, he's talking about loading me up on drugs. What is he, Bill Cosby? Everybody knows he's just talking to him and can bring you down with it. ass Are these bird diseases? And I never heard him come in the door and- Ninja Doctor? Okay. You don't look like you have a good reason to be here. Did you need something? Um, I, I heard Ryuta with- Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come finding me before going home? So sorry to bother you then. I'll be going now. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryuta's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there's some clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, mi Was it say migration? Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran middle school, so it's always fun watching birds hop around. I feel like you're at an unfair, you're at an unfair advantage because the birds kind of have stubby legs. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. A white dove is hang having a tantrum outside. Coo, coo. <laughs> this is no pudding for a man. Coo. Okosan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice of the pudding. What even is... What? Wait, what? This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon. Fantail? Either way, he's hyper. So he's just a bird? I mean, they're all birds, but I don't get it. A... Okosan has suffered a deceptive most vile. A deception most vile. A wretched betrayal. Trail? Hokusan instructed the pudding be provided for his new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Spare the jests, young lady. <laughs> Hokusan used wing attack. It's super effective. They'll rue the day they crossed Hokusan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Hokusan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> what the hell? He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? 
<laughs> and so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Pidgeo Nations, whatever. Ugh, I think I want to choose the class council today. So is that the first... Did we skip 4-8 to 4-11? As you know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, though, you can when you're free to go home after school. Uncle san has all this time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shuragane? A foolish question. I've already I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. He became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism. Ho! Oh, don't we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Do I finally get a choice? Join the... Okay, what should I join? Um... Uh, so this is probably going to determine who I get to talk to more. So student council, I'm going to be talking a lot to that stuck-up guy. Track team, I'm going to be talking to the pigeon that's obsessed with the pudding. And library, that really depressed one. I think I'm gonna talk to the pudding bird. I kind of like him. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Okay, so I have stats. So it looks like I have wisdom, vitality, and... Cha? Not sure what that could be. So I'm gonna attend... Hmm. Well, if I'm gonna be doing track, then I... Might want to go to gym class, I guess. Increase my vitality. I just sit out on the wing training. But it was fun anyway. Maybe someday I'll be able to fly too. Hey, I doubt that. Crystal leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Alright. Looks like we're getting somewhere fast. I need to sign up for track. I want to join the team. But I wonder if Okosan's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. I did. I was interested in talking to the pigeon in the library, but this guy just seems so much more interesting. Son. A crystal appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, madam, and draw. A fit he's having. Though not overputting. Not really. I just wanted to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? He stands before you. Okosan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has ever known. I never knew. Ah, oh, well, here, my forms. Thank you. A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence at the, ents the entrance and examination. There's an exam? Of course, track isn't daisy chain making missy. Okosan will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long... Uh... Pff, uh... Let's just do the sprint. Hmm, a sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. On your mark, get set, go! How is he so fast? He can't even fly this fast. Pant, pant. <laughs> You're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks. That's all, folks. So I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? <laughs>